I've never seen a result like that. What is that number printed on my carabiner? How often is cross-loading a carabiner actually even happening? You're worried about this carabiner specifically cross-loading. I, I am. I wrote you about it specifically. Yeah. <laughs> Never expecting to be here on a video. Yeah. You're at <laughs> risk of being in front of the camera if you email me. It seems particularly easy to cross-load this carabiner on a bolt hanger, either from there or even from there. And it just seems like some carabiners will be far easier to cross-load than others. What's funny is uh, Tom and I both really like Camp Dion, so I do too. I this do too. is a real shame to make a I video know. that might I was, detour people from using them. I was sad to discover this. <laughs> but I plan on still using Camp Dion's. Camp, please sponsor me and I won't publish this video. <laughs> a lot of shapes of carabiners, such as this black diamond one, I imagine it would be pretty hard to get something to to cross load that. Or do you think on this nose part it would be similar? That one seems like it'd be pretty easy too. Because it gets stuck in the notch, right? Yeah, it does. I'm surprised how easy they are hard to cross load. You gotta get it stuck there without touching it. Oh. <laughs> or it's well, cheating. Well, we played that little game earlier. Well, you can do it that way. <laughs> also curious if it will stay there. You wanna try the middle first? Sure. See if it pivots. <laughs> That's not bad. I don't know. That seems interesting. <laughs> What's the cross load rating on this? Seven. Okay. So the overall, it made it to eight. It went from not bending to bending, like very quickly. Yeah, not all cross loading is going to be the same. Whereas you can be pretty predictable with when you're pulling here in yeah. the spine proper. What happened to the nose? Is it it's, missing uh, both it sides? Got sheared off. Interesting. This is making me feel better than your video did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something about the four kill names is just like. It like kind of jacked the gate up. But seven's pretty strong. I don't know. Do you think camp redeemed themselves? Well, it still creeps me out that you got that it you, can you blew get stuck. The gate at four kill newtons on the the first one you sent me. But having said that, I bet these can all get stuck. And seven kill newtons probably is good. So we're trying it on more of a rounder surface, and it kind of gets stuck there. But then it wants to orientate again. So let's see if we can just get it stuck long enough to break it. Oh. Wow. Yeah, so this this is compromised now. Oh wow, feel how loose this is. You got you got you got nine. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling better about these now. <laughs> so your original concern is there, but the number's super good enough. Seems like it. It's nice to understand what uh, cross loading risk might be. Let's do. Uh, Let's do the magic carabiner. Okay. The one that's so light and yet impossibly strong. That's an eight cross load. On these little tiny keychain carabiners? Yeah. Oh, 1.53, it pivoted. Well, we need to put it in the corner then. Whoa. It hit my other wall. Oh, it sheared off the nose? Nice. What'd wow. you get? Seven. Yeah. What's the number on it? Eight. Oh, ooh, mm. <laughs> we're definitely not pulling <laughs> according to standards. This is all the stuff people have sent me that I haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> I mean, how is that even possible? Wow. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow. Wow, it flipped it backwards. That's pretty interesting. I've never seen that. Still, it's so extreme. You're just cranking right on it, and you still get seven kilonewtons. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, what is that, like fifteen or 1,800 pounds? That's a, that's a lot. It's pretty friggin' impressive. So that's if it's not videos. meeting standards, it's because we're not testing the standards. Disclaimer. I just really want camp to sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Does the same damn thing. Oh, what? Seven, same, same exact. It's reliably interesting. <laughs> 1.72 it rotated. Whoa. I say this often. I've never seen a result like that. <laughs> that is really neat. So what's it rated for? Uh, seven. What I'd like to do instead of pulling on the nose right here, I'd like to pull in the middle of the wire gate. Like a carabiner like this, I would imagine would be stronger if you're pulling against that gate versus a wire gate. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I've never used one of these. Soft shackles, baby. Yeah, those are neat. Can't cross load them. Another thing that's kind of neat are these industrial carabiners. Made a really fat gate. Now, I wouldn't want to climb with this, but it was pretty neat when I was taking my Sprat Level 1 class to see what 
This is 16 kilonewtons. I really like that carabiner, but yes. should we cross load that one when we're done? It didn't rotate, it deformed the wire. It's actually still holding on the nose here. <laughs> yeah, it went to 11, 11. It's only rated to seven. That's actually way are, better than I thought. These are nice carabiners, these GMM pounds. I've always really liked these. Let's try it with the bolt hanger and see how strong it is. Broke. I'm surprised that stayed, actually. I am too. It looked like it was going to flop right off of it. Oh, here's the other part of that nose that from the well, that really the interesting one. Um, huh. You should have plexing glass on your brake test machine. This is our abrasion tester. I'm going to put some weights on here. Dude, it's gone. And a thing right here for it to rub. It's going to be awesome. Is it more curvy on the spine now? I don't think so. Mm. Oh, wow. It's not that much different. Maybe just a little. Wow. Black diamond. I think that's the real light one. This says it's an eight. Possibly. Oh, they're bragging a big game there. Yeah. Gate flipped around again. Oh, wow. I've actually have never had that happen before. Oh, that's because I wasn't here. I love this. This makes me feel better about everything. <laughs> That's the goal. Oh, zero kilonewtons. Oh yeah, this doesn't stay easily, which is a good problem to have. I've heard that they'll put a collar right here that they screw There's and clamp collar, on. Collar clamp. Collar clamp that keeps it in place, and they'll like jimmy rig the, the gate. It's kind of crazy. I What's kind of cool about the wire gate is it stays in place the entire time. It is rare that carabiners break right there. Obviously, I'm not usually pulling on them in this way. I definitely thought wire gates were going to be way worse. You say eight also. Well, that's a big claim. Look, I ran out of lever beaners in Red River Gorge. I had to buy a bunch of these. Oh, yeah. That's why we have a shield. Yeah, that was rated to 8, and we only got 7.35. Oh, man. You get what you pay for, right? <laughs> oh, we can't wow. kill it. Oh, it's still hung up on the gate. Look at that graph. Did the thing again you've never seen happen. Yeah, and now it's doing it every time. <laughs> so this Omega one is nine cross-loaded. Yeah, it was the gate that failed. It's interesting. What makes this so special? I think it's just that everything is shrouded with this giant green part. Hey, baby, no, don't rotate. Oh, look, a spring. Crazy. Just recycle the aluminum? No. They're decorations. Oh, well done. <laughs> I don't think we did a solid gate yet, so let's just do this. I mean, it broke, but it didn't break break. Whoa. Did well, you get 9.54 again? No, it was slightly less the second time. Still works. You sure about that? I got my new one. If you found a lever beaner that says Tom Michael on it, <laughs> put that in the comments below because that would be fun. Small world. Let's take this really big gate. You're gonna gate. get a lot of hits on that. <laughs> 16 kilonewton gate. Let's see, uh, see how right they are. If I go like that, it's definitely gonna get stuck there. A lot easier because the gate's really big. That this got hooked was the concern. Like this has got a, a major issue here. Yeah, let me know if you guys, you know, have this happen at work. the money who knew they were right this must have just opened up enough to pop over it. oh and now you can't close it and now it's jacked now in the personal anchors episode i just finished editing the steel carabiner broke at i believe 17 kilonewtons this thing's rated for 60 but then only 12 cross loaded oh, shit, that went up so fast 22 <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Steel carabiner is fine. <laughs> Works perfectly good. This is rated to 22, and we got 22.04. Well, we also have been taking it up pretty high. <laughs> yeah. That's why we have a shield. The gate's completely is gone. Is that double what they rated that to? It's stronger than they rated it. 
That doesn't happen very often. Look at what happened to my soft shack. Literally chewed through half of it. I don't feel like it's that hard to cross load a carabiner. <laughs> I thought this was gonna actually be really hard. I, I learned a lot. I learned it's super fun to break stuff. <laughs> He's right. I felt like I already tested that, but I think it was because I had carabiners over an edge on the slack snap machine if they're levered. Right. And obviously that's different than what we did today. Yeah, I'm glad you asked the question. Glad you brought all your carabiners. Like you said, it's, it's easier to crossload carabiners than expected, but they do seem to be strong enough. If you're curious what happens when you put multiple carabiners in one hanger, it's one of our most popular videos, ironically, on this channel. It has over a million views, and you should go check that one out next. Dang. That thing got trashed.